Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, as you all probably are aware, Queen Elizabeth II of England has now passed away. So today I want to look at the three options that she now has. Option one is the best option here, which would mean that she would go to heaven. Now, if she did actually go to heaven, there is still that possibility of her popping in and seeing us. What I mean by popping in is if you go to someone like John Edward or any other famous psychic medium show, they get a pop of information and that's how I get it as well. So that's why they come through very quickly and usually not for very long. It's very brief. So when they come through, they don't get time to tell us things like, please tell her about the time we went to the beach and she saw a shell and picked it up and took it home. They don't get that information. So they will show us a shell and they will show us the beach. So that's where, as a medium, we must interpret shell beach. Okay, what's that reference? Did your mother pick a shell up at the beach? And that's where we get our confirmation, okay? Because it's a pop, and I want to clarify that. It's only generally a pop of information. And that's why when we talk about spirits, they're called pop in, okay? I've just got somebody else who's just popped in, okay? So that's why, um, you know, if the queen has now gone to heaven, yes, she's done her life review. So I'm going to do a video um, later today just about that one. So I hope that you watch if she does go to heaven and do her process, her life review. OK, so that was option one. If she goes to heaven. Who she will see there is up to her. Hello, she knows a lot of people, right? <laughs> Let's go there. She was one of she was the most famous person on the whole planet. Okay, we thought it was Diana, but it was actually the Queen. So let's go there now with option two. Option two Did the Queen stay as a ghost? Ooh. Now, if you've read my book, The Psychology of Why Ghosts Stay, the link is below if you want to go and get a copy. If the Queen does stay at a go as a ghost, they stay where they are connected to. Now, let's go there. Where did the Queen just pass away? Her favourite castle. The one where she went when she was young. The one where she had holidays. The castle where she put a lot of her conscious imprints into that location. So there is a high chance that the Queen through psychology may wish to stay and haunt that castle now the interesting thing here would she meet ghosts of the past huh. she could interact with other ghosts because as you know most castles are haunted especially where there's been sudden deaths and other um, sad events for people so there's a high chance that if she has stayed as a ghost, she's not there alone. Now, will these people understand who she is? That's a probability. That's something for theories. But, you know, if you watch the TV show Ghosts, which is now on Australian TV Wednesday at 8.30, um, and it's a, also a UK series, all those ghosts know everything about each other and they all can do whatever they like. Huh. So I've got to look at the Shelley ghost, who is also in one of the stories in my book, Go um, Ghosts, The Psychology of Why They Stay. When Shelley came to my house, she was stuck in that moment of when she passed. She was talking about the people in the car crash with her and she wanted to go to the hospital to see one of her friends. Now that dialogue goes for about five or nine pages because I was writing down what she was saying to me. So that was one of the most prominent ghosts that I have ever interacted with, Shelley. So her, um, the, the dialect of um, that dialogue 
of what was said, what she said, and then what I said, and then what she said, and then what I said. That's all in my book, Ghosts, The Psychology of Why They Stay. The PDF version is available on Lulu or else contact me and we'll get you a copy of that one, okay? So, ghost, she could stay. Third option, oh, you ready for the doozy? Is there a possibility that the queen has gone to hell? Now, as I explain in other videos of mine, we can create a hell loop through psychology where we are hanging on to past regrets and grudges and issues. Did the queen do things in her life that she now regrets where she's stuck in that moment? Wow. On my YouTube channel, there is a video there called How Hell Works. There's a part one and a part two if you want to go and watch them. How we get stuck in hell. And I also talk about some TV shows because they love putting the truth in there, right? So the three options, she's gone to heaven. She's gone as she stayed as a ghost. And the other one is she's created this hell for herself. Regardless of the first two options, if she does either go to heaven or stay as a ghost, is there a chance of her being at her funeral? Now, if she's a ghost that can freely travel around like Shelley did, she can go and experience her body staying in the state, in state is what they call it, it's in state so people can view her body, a viewing. She could also want to go to her funeral because that's her free will and her conscious thoughts, right? So she may want to see how her funeral progression goes because at the end of the day, she was queen for 70 years, okay? So she could be at her funeral. So please, if you are going to watch her state funeral on any TV or internet, watch out because you may see her lurking in the corners, okay? She may be there as a ghost and she may pop in like a spirit. Okay, so ultimately it's all her choice as to where she goes now. But ultimately she's had three options. Tell me below in the comments what you think. If you do want a copy about my heaven book, um, I've got the I've got the book here if you want to know where she's gone heaven look how fuck it is that as well as my ghost book is now on Lulu the link is below if you want books or contact me my email is below and I hope that you all have a great and safe day talk soon bye